We start this hunt at a Walgreens just to see what's up in here. You know, it's been a minute and as usual, all they have are these straight up dookie boxes, bro. But at $5 each, I don't know why. I enjoy opening these sometimes just because of the randomness of it all. So I grab one. Next, we're hitting up a Walmart that has always been very hit or miss, but they're actually a little stocked today, more so than usual for this location. We got mosaic football hangers, Prism Draft Picks Basketball, Donruss Football, and Zenith NFL Blasters. First time I've seen these in the wild. Illusions Football as well, which to me isn't worth the price. Donruss Basketball and Zenith Fat Packs down here on the bottom. I grabbed a Zenith Blaster for $27.48. Better than the $35 bucks I was expecting. You know how Walmart is. Then next I got some action going online. 2022 NFL Prism from Target, which likely has an incredibly low ceiling and is extremely overprinted given how long it stayed available on the site, then jumped over to Best Buy with another one of their clearance price deals. We've looked at these. $13 for Prism Draft Picks Baseball Blasters. And you know, despite lack of immediate value, I've really enjoyed the overall quality of this product and the fact that despite lack of a guarantee, there are autos in literally every box, ironically negating any need for the mega boxes of this product. $76 total spent on this pile. Let's hope it's a good rip. So here we go, you know, ripping retail for profit is long dead. At this point, we just want a few nice cards from this rip. I've tried to swear off retail too, but I get hooked on the hunt. Ripping this prism first, always good looking. You don't need me to tell you that, just not always centered. I mean, there's been a lot of imperfections and flaws in the prism products I've bought as of late. Nice Isaiah Pacheco rookie card in the light blue here. You know, prism this year to scale is not a loaded product but that's why you can find it, right? We got a Silver Prism Devontae Wyatt here. The parallels for the most part are rookie cards, but no numbers, no autos, not necessarily a great rip at $30, but for a lot of us, the hobby level is just priced out of reach. Then we have another box of Prism Draft Picks Baseball. You know, I like this product because I've bought it as low as $10 a blaster and I've never not pulled an auto. Hyper green prisms look great. Will you pull anything that'll end up being worth something? I don't know, but the low buy-in keeps me coming back. And once again, here's an auto. Nick Mastrini, UCLA, and oh my God, look at this piss poor centering job. My Lord, this is just Panini being Panini. I hate to say. What a waste of an otherwise great looking auto. Side by side, you can see how off center it really is with the top logo almost cut off. Good lord. Of course we got the green and yellow prisms in the bonus pack. Again, overall a nice looking product. Blasters are still 10 bucks on Dave and Adams right now. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you that want to go pick up some of this product on the cheap. Moving on to Zenith, the headliner of this rip. Decent looking product and here we go with a David Ajabo Red Zone Parallel Rookie Auto. That's the real mark of excellence here. Whether or not there's a chance to actually pull something from a retail product, especially when it's not guaranteed on box. It explains why Zenith has been a tougher get so far. And I would buy another box if it was at the $27 price point like this one. Now here's our Walgreens Dookie box and look, they throw a prism card on top in here, like a sprinkle on a turd cupcake. The rest, unfortunately, is the usual fare. Junk wax, plenty of it, and some sage hit doo-doo notebook paper card stock cards. Oh well, a pile of parallels and two autos, right, overall. Had the draft picks auto been centered, I'd say the draft picks box on clearance and the Zenith off the shelf at $27.50 were the only worthwhile grabs here. $40 spent instead of the 76. And there's better ways to spend the $40 when you get right down to it, but hey, that's what we got. Hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're gonna drop a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Card Hub for more hunting, more ripping, more online deals, and whatever else I can throw your way. MC Murr signing off for this episode. I'll see you on the next one.